singing right now, but there's many people right now saying, oh, this weekend we got friends, we got family all coming in. Paige Chen, uh, lifestyle expert, is going to give us a little bit of advice on making holiday entertaining real easy. Just a okay. lot easier. People get so stressed out. Yeah. And now we're less than a week towards Christmas. Yeah. And this is when you might be having people over. And I find that uh, often we get so um, obsessed with our guests having a good time that we forget to have fun at our own party. Right. So, a couple ways always, to always, make it yeah. easier. If you do love spending time in the kitchen like I do, mm -hmm. um, you can't do it all. It's too much. So make your, make your um, signature dish, whatever that might be. And the rest, I say, you outsource to the magical elves at the grocery store. So who are some of these magical <laughs> elves? Tell, show me some of these magical, these, the magic that's happening. Yep, here. they work up in the uh, North Pole, and that's why everything is frozen for you and easy to right. uh, prepare. So I picked up a couple of great things at Loblaws. They have some really fun new hors d'oeuvres and appetizers mm -hmm. um, this season. So something like um, Moroccan cigars, these beef Moroccan cigars right there. Mm -hmm. uh, they're easy. You can pop them into the oven a couple minutes before your guests arrive. What's great, too, when you're entertaining Hide the is, boxes, too, right yeah. after. <laughs> Yeah. Tell everyone that you, you stuff the beef and the chickpeas and the raisins and the exactly. carrots in there and you rolled up in the file pastry. Don't let them go to the recycling bin. No, don't yeah, let them. Exactly. So keep food bite size as well for mm -hmm. a cocktail party. You want people to mingle. You want them to be able to, you know, hold a drink and eat something that's one or two bites. You don't want to have to use a knife and a fork. Right. Right, when people are just standing well, then about you don't and reeling about. Many dishes as well. Exactly. Right. So another thing, too, that uh, I like serving is food on sticks. How popular is that? So something mm -hmm. like this. The, um, yes, the coconut chicken there so nice. it's just chicken and spread in a nice coconut um, breading and then popped in the oven as well and what I like to do is mix it up with your your serving so presentation I like putting them into these little individual jars right. or if you have two dozen shot glasses you could put them in that I won't judge you yeah they, 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 <laughs> yeah they always say that you know if you can't ski just look good on the ski hill yeah. if you can't cook just make sure you look good in the kitchen so dress it up very nicely exactly yeah. and also no double dipping um, everyone gets their own little vessel right you can double dip in your own dip exactly there no one go. will care so don't forget the vegetarians as well mm -hmm. so just some mini quiches really simple easy another thing I like to do is to label all of your dishes and that helps people because then they don't have to sit there and guess. Like, but it what's also in shows there? What's the mystery? It, right. It's a little extra attention. Cheese, of course, is always good with a little fresh berry. That's a really great way to decorate. Yeah, mix it up. You got Different some crackers and uh, baked goods, desserts. That's my thing around the holidays. Okay. I love spending time in the kitchen and making all kinds of things, but I don't have time to do all of this when people are coming over. So what I like to do as well is I picked up a couple of great things at Loblaws. They've got some great um, cake and cookie mixes. What that does is they've measured all your dry ingredients, and it helps you just save time. Also, fewer dirty dishes. Right, and so yeah. then you can do the creative part. The fun part is the decorating. And then also for a space uh, perspective, instead of buying flour and sugar and having that yeah. all in your kitchen, you just got everything in one little batch there. You just have to add a few like, yeah. wet ingredients. It's easy. Red velvet cupcakes, very so festive easy. for the season. You can make Pretzels. the mini ones. Pretzels, just dip them in chocolate. Super easy to do. You don't even have to turn the stove or the um, oven on to do this. Melt some chocolate, dip some pretzels in. That nice sweet and salty combination. And to get kids involved as well and keep them kind of busy mm -hmm. cookie decorating. Well, and also for the grown-ups, yeah. people forget that around the holidays, we want to kind of go back and remember what it was like being a kid. Set up a cookie decorating station at your party for the grown-ups, and I guarantee you that after maybe a drink or two, uh, you may not have G-rated gingerbread men and gingerbread women and snowmen. You know my friends. But, but have, You're one of my friends. People will have a lot of fun. <laughs> and the other thing, too, is it really helps people mingle and, uh, and chatting and also packaging things up for your guests take home. That's a nice. wonderful Instagram moment right there. I could just <laughs> see that. Uh, thank you very much, Pei Chen. For My more pleasure. information, go to PeiChen.com. She's a lifestyle expert. Happy holidays, everyone. We're going to throw it up to Kevin.